Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to show you guys everything that came inside of my Bye Bye Baby Welcome gift bag. So if you don't know what this is, with Bye Bye Baby, if you create a baby registry, they will give you a little welcome bag uh, full of like little samples and goodies just to welcome the new baby. And for the record, this is the 2019 welcome bag. It is January and I just got mine last week. So I wanted to get this up really quickly for you guys because they were also handing out goodie bags from Infamil, which is pretty freaking awesome. I'm assuming these go together. My husband picked these up for me because Bye Bye Baby is close to his work. So I didn't actually go in and pick it up myself. Um, he snagged these for me after I created the registry. However, the uh, the Infamo one, we'll get into in a second, but it has like a voucher for like some free formula, but you only have like two months to fill out the voucher, and the voucher was good through February, so like all January and all of February. So I don't know if after February, if they will stop having the Infamo gift bags or if they will just like get new ones in, I'm not really sure, um, but we'll get into that in a second. So how do you get the Bye Bye Baby gift bag? What you need to do is create an online registry and then on there, it gives you the option to have it shipped to you. I don't know if they charge you shipping. I would assume so because most gift bags tend to want to charge you shipping, like for the Walmart gift box, um, the Amazon gift box, you have to pay, like you have to spend like at least $10 on Amazon off your registry to get that one. That one's a little bit of a better deal. Um, there's a couple others I'm trying to think of. And there's, there's a diaper one from... Uh, you have the Abby and Finn, which I have not gotten yet, that charges you for diaper samples. And then you have one other. I can link it below. But it charges you for diaper samples also. Anyways, Bye Bye Baby, I can only assume it's going to charge you shipping if you're going to have it shipped to you. I don't know that for a fact. But what you do is you make your baby registry, you go into store, and you pick it up. Make sure you take your baby registry ID number with you. My husband said that he had a hard time or that they, rather, had a hard time at customer service um, looking up our baby registry. And when I called to make sure they had the baby bags in, the lady asked if my husband was even on the registry because I told her he'd be coming in to pick it up. And she said that he'd have to be on the registry. So if you're not going to go in and pick it up yourself, make sure whoever's picking it up for you is on the baby registry and give them the registry ID. It just makes life so much easier. So anyway, <laughs> what's inside my gift bag? Uh, we have a little box from 7th Generation. A little cute little box and decorations on it and whatnot. And then you open that up and you have a pack of size 1 diapers. Just like so. Cute little patterns on the back. And it comes with, it looks like 4 diapers total. And then at the bottom of the box here, it comes with a pack of free and clear wipes. So diving a little further into the gift bag, you get these little uh, like patches for your baby. They say like one month, two month, three month. And on the back of them, you can write a little bit of information on the card, just kind of to track your little one's growth. Uh, I believe these ones are probably from Gerber. Yep, it says right there, Gerber Social. I remember getting these with my son, who is now two, almost three. Uh, I got these with a Gerber sample pack, which you can actually sign up for all the formula companies. So if you haven't done that yet and you're going to formula feed, I really suggest doing that. Infamil, Simoc, and Gerber, you can all sign up with them and get free samples. And Gerber will give you these as well if you want them. I never used them with my son. I doubt I'll use them with this kiddo, but we'll see. Then we also have a little sample pack here from Noodle and Boo. <laughs> And it's the uh, Newborn 2-in-1 Hair and Body Wash. And then you also have the Super Soft Lotion. A little further down in here, you get the Water Wipes, which I am very interested to use. Also comes with a dollar off coupon on the back. So coupon is good for an entire year, which is awesome because my little one's not due till May. And it would totally suck to get coupons that you don't only really have a couple of months life on them. I hate when that happens. I need some time to use my coupons. So that's great. I'm sure I'll be able to get like another sample pack like this or probably a dollar or two. So I'll probably definitely use that coupon, assuming I remember it's on the back of the wipes. Okay, moving on. There's a little sample here of gripe water. I don't think we ever used gripe water with my son. I believe we used gas drops, which I think they kind of do the same thing. 
but they just help if your baby's a little colicky, has some like bubbles in their tummy kind of a thing. So we'll definitely give this a try. I feel like this stuff is really good to use when they're really little, um, or not necessarily this one, the, gra the gas drops, which I have experience with, but like I said, this is supposed to do pretty much the same thing. Then you get a sample of Shea Moisture, 100% vegan coconut oil, baby wash and shampoo, and then also the baby lotion, which uh, Shea Moisture is a really good brand. I've had a good experience with other shampoos and conditioners for adults from them, so definitely interested to see how well they work for baby. Then you also get a sample of uh, Stretch Mark Cream from Belly Beauty. It's uh, elasticity elasticity, belly oil, and anti-blemish facial wash. So, could have definitely used the facial wash in my first trimester because I was breaking out a lot. Thankfully, that's kind of calmed down, but we'll definitely give this stuff a go. So, in here, you get some uh, Lanicell samples. Uh, I'm going to assume it's probably just breast pads. It's kind of what it's looking like. Let me open it and see. So, it looks like you get uh, two packs of their breast pads and then you also get um, some breast milk storage bags so if you're going to be breastfeeding or if you're going to be pumping this is definitely a nice little thing to get however I will say investing in some reusable breast pads is definitely a good idea that's what I did with my son um, I was not able to breastfeed him but I tried for like two weeks and I I used my reusable breast pads even though like my milk never came in um, so there wasn't really any leakage that ever really happened but I still had those I used them just in case my milk ever did come in in that two week span and uh, I kept them so I'll you know dig them back out and we'll see if my milk comes in with this baby or not but personal opinion I mean these are nice if you have them but like I don't think you need to buy the throwaway ones when you can buy um, reusable and it's also pretty easy to make reusable there are videos on YouTube for how to do that so I would suggest going the reusable route because these things get pretty expensive you also get a little Tommy Tippy cup and we had these with my son and I'm sure that we use them but I don't really remember uh, if we like them or not um, this one goes up to to five ounces and I know a few people who have been doing these uh, gift bag hauls here on YouTube have kind of been like hating on the smaller bottles however if you are formula feeding or even for breastfeeding like if you're pumping and then putting it in a bottle having smaller bottles on hand when they're little is a lifesaver it keeps you from using too much formula because your baby's not gonna start out drinking an eight ounce bottle they're probably gonna start out drinking like less than an ounce and so having bottles the size uh, just makes things easier so you don't waste formula and waste breast milk. So stocking up on these smaller bottles for when they're little, I say about four months and under. I'd say around between four and six months they start like jumping up to like the eight ounce bottles. But um, when they're like four months and under, these are gonna be your best friend. Okay, then you got a couple more samples in the bottom of the bag, and then I'll show you what is in the infant milk gift bag. So they have a Johnson's Cotton Touch baby wash. You get the Boogie Wipes, which I've never actually tried these before, so we'll see. They're a saline wipe for stuffy noses to like help hydrate their noses, I'm guessing. Um, simply unscented, la -ti da For quick, effective cleanup and relief of stuck-on boogies caused by common cold and allergies. So, I mean, that's kind of nice, but I feel like, like the baby wipes I have work the same. I've always just used my regular baby wipes, so I will give these a go. Um, I also seen these at the Dollar Tree recently, so if you guys like these, that's one place you can pick them up. And then the last thing in here is a little tube of Aquaphor. It's a three-in-one three diaper rash cream, and Aquaphor is really good. I really like this stuff for my son's diaper rash, so definitely gonna be using this. So there's also a whole stack of like coupons and offers that come in the bag as well. I'll go over these at the end of the video in case you're interested, but I don't want to completely bore anybody. So I'm going to show you guys what's here in the Infamil bag really quickly, and then I'll show you the coupon and offers in case that's something that you're interested in knowing about. Which they have some good coupon, some which they have some good formula coupons. So if you're going to formula feed, I definitely recommend sticking around long enough to find out about those. So this is what the case looks like. Um, this little cardboard thing right here comes with a flyer on the top just uh, telling you to sign up with um, Infamil Families and that's how you're going to get like boxes of formula from the Infamil Formula Company. So 
definitely something worth doing. You don't have to send in a postcard, you can actually go right online and fill that out. So I can leave a link for you guys down below for Infamil if you want to go check them out for some free formula. So this little bag is pretty neat. It's got a pouch here in the front, which I don't think came with anything in it. No, there's nothing in the pouch. <laughs> we would have both been surprised if there was. Um, and then here on the side, here on the side, it has like a tiny little pocket. So you can easily take like a bottle or something and pop that down right in the corner right there. Um, myself personally, when it came to my diaper bag, uh, I typically carry around distilled bottles of water with me. I wouldn't carry around pre-made formula. Uh, so I would just bring powdered formula and then like I would stick a like a bottle of water like a baby bottle But it would be full of water of distilled water and then I'd mix it up on the go um, but You put whatever you want to right there honestly, and you're not gonna fit a full-size diaper in there That's really just gonna be for something that's small Full-size diaper you're not gonna fit a full-size bottle in there. It's gonna be for something small <laughs> and then when you open it up it comes with a whole bunch of goodies inside and this is a cooler case that way you can take pre-made formula or breast milk with you and keep it cool uh, what we will more than likely end up doing with it is using it as a lunch box and I like that it doesn't have any like labeling on it that way if my husband wants to take it to work like he can totally do that or I guess if I wanted to take it to work um, definitely big enough to just be like a lunch box so definitely something that can be used quite a bit so where to start? Well, first, the thing in here that I was the most excited about was this case of formula. It comes with six two-ounce bottles of formula. These little guys are awesome when your baby is really little, um, when they're a newborn. I like to use these for, I'd say, at least the first month. Um, I just find them to be easier to digest. And in my personal opinion, <laughs> Infamil gives the best smelling baby burps, which might sound completely weird. But if you've had a baby and smelt their burps, you get what I'm get, you get what I'm saying, and they just they seem to smell the best when they've had Infamil recently. But anyways, formula is so dang expensive. I was very excited to get this, and it had I want to say like a six or seven month shelf life on it. Yeah, it's good until September, and it's currently January, so like it has a nine a nine month shelf life. So it's definitely going to be good by the time my baby is born. However, if you're expecting a baby later than September, you might want to hold off on getting your um, your baby box. Granted, if it's January now and you're just not finding out that you're pregnant, I'm going to guess you're probably not going to be due in September. Probably going to be closer to, to November or later. But just something to keep in mind, I guess, if you find this video at a later time frame. Again, not sure they're going to be handing these out past February anyways, and if they are, they would hopefully um, have new samples. Um, and like I also mentioned, this bag also came with a voucher for free formula, so you could either order a case of formula like this, another box, but I think the one you can order online for free, I think had like 20 bottles in it. Or you could order two of the jugs of pre made formula, which is the route I went in because you actually got more formula per ounce in the jugs versus getting these bottles, which these are great and they're very um, convenient. However, the jugs, which you have to put in the fridge after you open them, so you have to warm the formula up, but you get more formula, you put them in a bottle. I went that direction. So, and they're completely free. So definitely make sure you get that voucher out of your little case here. Um, because it's, I feel like it's something you can easily overlook and think it's just like a flyer, but it has a complete voucher on there for free formula. So make sure you go fill that out. Okay, enough rambling. It also comes with a cool pack in here. That way you can keep your formula nice and cold. And it's got little grooves here, so you can kind of pack your bottles towards like the side of the case. Um, and so they kind of fit nicely on your cool pack. Then it also comes with some stuff from uh, Snappies. And I'm not really sure what this is. Okay, so these attach to a breast pump and they will collect your breast milk. So I thought that's what it was. I've had them from Infamil when I had my Infamil pump. Um, yeah, they're just for breast milk storage if that's what you want to use them for. I will probably donate these because I don't foresee having a use for them. I'm going to guess you really need to use these with these snappies 
Okay, you also get a little nipple here to attach to your uh, formula samples, which um, I thought normally they came with nipples in here, so not really sure on that, but I'm going to toss this into my bottle drawer so I have it on hand just in case, but I would assume there's some in here. I don't really want to open this just yet because I don't want to get things lost or messed up before my baby comes, but uh, yeah, they throw in a nipple in there. Hopefully that's just like an extra. So they also come with like a little book for baby to play with, which I thought was kind of a nice touch. So it's just like a little crinkle book, little picture book. Um, on the back it says Infamil, of course, they got to brand everything, a little bit of advertisement, but you just flip through it, it has different like uh, shapes and whatnot for baby to look at and play with and hold on to and it makes that lovely sound that every parent loves, but it's always nice to have these things around. I assume you can probably toss this into the wash. Okay, and then at the bottom of this bag is just more flyers. So if you guys are interested in the coupons and flyers, that will be what I'm going to talk about next. So if you don't want to watch that, then thank you so much for watching, and I hope you think about hitting the subscribe button because I will have more free baby stuff videos coming out as I get more free baby stuff. So and don't forget to, to uh, check out the description box for links to Bye Bye Baby and also to the formula companies and to the diaper companies I was telling you about. So let's go ahead and get on into all of the flyers. These are the ones that came inside of the Infomil box. So you have a flyer for Lysol along with coupons on the back. Lysol when you have a baby is a godsend along with hand sanitizer. Uh, I always kept a thing of Lysol right by my changing table and after I would get done cleaning my son, like after he'd have a diaper change, I would always Lysol his changing pad. Also, Lysol on the inside of your diaper pail is never a bad idea. It helps with smell because I don't care what diaper genie tells you, they still stink, you can still smell it, and Lysol really helps with that along with killing the germs. So like anytime I change out my son's diaper genie, I will Lysol it. <laughs> and then also if he has a particularly nasty diaper, I'll spray Lysol on top of the diaper inside the diaper genie. <laughs> So, we go through a lot of Lysol in our household. Um, I'm not against using the off-brand Lysol from Walmart, so if these coupons make Lysol cheaper than the Great Value brand, I'll buy this one. Otherwise, I will probably continue buying Great Value, assuming Great Value is cheaper. So here's like an, a little info pack on the cooler bag along with the, um, the uh, freezer brick that it comes with. Um, then you get a little info pack here for Infamil. And it has the formula coupons on the back, which we will definitely be using here sooner rather than later. It says Nourish Brain First, and you have a save $3 off of Infamil Vitamins, which I am assuming are prenatals, and then save $3 off of Infamil Pro or Infamil Pro Gentle. And the, and the prenatals I won't be using because I have a prescription for my doctor. However, um, the coupon for formula we'll definitely be putting back. This one has this one has already expired, so that totally sucks. Never mind. Hopefully, your coupons in your bag won't have expired yet. But mine despite mine expired, mine expired um, on December thirty first. So that really sucks. And then you also get in a little pamphlet book here for Infamil, and I don't think there's any coupons in here. So hopefully, none of my other formula coupons have expired because that really sucks. I would have definitely used those coupons and bought some formula. Anyways, one little tip here is that if you sign up with the formula companies, they will also send you coupons from the company that you can use at the store. And they almost work like checks versus like regular coupons. You can double them with other coupons. So getting into the flyers and coupons that come with the Bye Bye Baby bag, um, you get a flyer here for belly badges and talks about how to share them. I'm not sure if this is for the be belly badges um, that you get from, no they're not, they're not from the ones that you get in the bag. These are for the ones you get from Infamil and Infamil is trying to talk you into signing up for a free formula and when you get on their site to sign up for a free formula, they'll give you an option for belly badges. The belly badges that you get from Similac and the belly badges you get from Infamil and the belly badges you get from Gerber are all completely different. And if you register online for the free formula samples, they will give you the option to opt out of the belly badges if you don't want them, 
which is why I personally did this go around because as mentioned, I never used them with my son. I guess I'm just a lazy mom. I don't think I made it past like the second or third month of uh, picture updates. Um, so at the very bottom here, there's a coupon for Infamil formula. It says buy one, get one free. And you have to use it at Bye Bye Baby, but you have a year to use it. It doesn't expire until November, oh sorry, it doesn't expire until December 31st. It's currently January, so you have nearly a year to use it up. So yeah, that's definitely something worth using. Um, but it is a sample, it is a coupon for this type of formula. So again, I like to use this when they're newborns. Just, you know, I guess you'd call me already a seasoned mother. I've done this once already. Pro tip, I like these when they're newborn, personally, the pre-made formulas. And so... Having a coupon, buy one, get one free, is definitely something we will definitely use. Um, we will probably, since this is more like a bye-bye baby coupon, more than it is an Infamil coupon, though it is a coupon for Infamil, um, we will probably wait until we start getting the coupons from Infamil to use this. And that way we can double this coupon with the Infamil coupon. A little pro tip. But definitely a good one. A buy one, get one free. And if memory serves me right, these uh, six pack of formula that the coupon is for um they're only about like eight or nine dollars i want to say i could be completely wrong but i want to say they're around eight or nine bucks so they're not horribly expensive to break the bank they're not going to feed your baby super long but again you're getting one free in your infamil baby welcome bag and then you're getting a coupon for buy one get one free so if you spend eight bucks you get 12 so sorry about that my camera just died on me but i believe we were talking about the infamil coupon um, as I was saying, it's a coupon worth having. So, moving on. We have a little flyer here for my first stroller from Bye Bye Baby. Um, no coupons or anything, just kind of gives you information on the stroller. Then you have a little information thing here on the outlet up all night. This is supposed to help like monitor baby's breathing. These are kind of expensive. I looked into them. I want to say they're around the $200 mark. Yeah, $299 um, is what it says here on the back. Um, but if you decide to add these to your baby registry, it gives you the option uh, between adding the outlet sock itself and then you can choose between doing the pink or the blue sock. And so you can just scan these barcodes here, um, I guess through your smartphone, and they'll load to your Bye Bye Baby registry. Here you get a little flyer for a belly band. It has like a little bit of like a hologram kind of look to it. And it's from Belly Bandit, no coupon. Then you get a little... Uh, Coupon for a free portrait sheet from uh, PicturePeople.com. I've never heard of this website, so not really sure what this company is about, but you get a flyer about them if you're interested. You get a $2 off coupon for 7th generation diapers, which I've never tried them, so I don't really have an opinion to give you on them. But I do have a whole list of um, diaper reviews if you're curious, so I can leave a link down below. And as soon as my kiddo starts using the 7th generation diaper samples that I got, I will give you guys a review. So that will be coming in a couple of months. Um, you get a $25 offer for Shutterfly. I've heard good things and I've heard bad things about Shutterfly, but I've never personally used it. So uh, Baby Breeza, you get a coupon for, oh it's a bottle, okay. And you get a coupon for 25% off of any one of their baby bottles. And the Baby Breeza, I guess, is a formula warmer. Um, personally, and I've since heard you're not supposed to do this, but I've always personally put the um, distilled water into a glass measuring cup. And I've heated it in my microwave personally for about a minute and a half, I want to say. And then I've mixed in my formula and I've never had a problem. But I've since heard that you're not supposed to heat formula in a microwave because it can put some hot spots and some cool spots. I don't, I don't know. I've never personally had that problem. But again, like I mix the formula in after I heated the water and everything gets stirred up. So maybe that's why. Um, and I also stick my whole finger in there and I've never, I've never noticed a problem. But um, anyways, if you guys need a bottle warmer or that's something that you want, I had one and never used it. I feel like... It took forever to heat my water. It was from Munchkin brand, I want to say. It took forever to heat the water, and then the water was boiling hot, so I couldn't feed my kid, and so I had like a screaming baby. Yeah, never used it. Uh, at least not more than once or twice. So here's, I think, a little um, flyer for signing up for a Bye Bye Baby credit card. 
I say skip store credit cards. They're typically not worth it. Personal opinion. Um, <laughs> totally against them. Then you have a thing about the milk bank. So I guess if you can't produce milk and you have like a high risk infant or something, you could look into uh, getting breast milk from other mothers. And also it tells you how to donate breast milk if you are somebody who overproduces. There's a term for that that I can't think of, but sometimes people produce so much breast milk that there's no way they could ever use it up. Um, and so you'd be able to donate it um, if that's something you're interested in. So here you have a coupon, $5 off for the uh, Kinza thermometer. And it looks like it just uploads your baby's temperature and all that stuff directly to your phone. So you have like a little app or something, which is kind of neat. And then you have a coupon um, for Bye Bye Baby. It says $5 off any purchase of $15 or more, which is something that I intend to use for formula, assuming that I can. I'll have to read the offer and everything like that. Um, it's only good until the end of this month, so that sucks. Hopefully they're putting in fresh coupons. As we've noticed, I already got an expired one. Um, but we'll, we'll be needing to look into using this towards some baby formula at some point this month. <laughs> and then here you have something that is called iPlay. And it has um, like a whole booklet about it. I've never personally heard of iPlay Incorporated. But they have Bye Bye Baby at $10 off. Uh, they have all kinds of information in here about their brand and their company. And then they also have a list of products in here where you get like a coupon, yeah, $10 off your in-store purchase of 30 or more in-play or green sprout products. I thought it was a $10 off coupon, okay, so you have to spend at least $30 and you get 10 bucks off. I don't know that we will be using this coupon. I thought it was a $10 off coupon and they had some bibs in here for 20 bucks and I was thinking about buying the muslin bibs for 20 and then getting 10 off, but I don't know probably be sticking this guy in the trash. So that is everything out of my Bye Bye Baby welcome bag. I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to go check all the links down below for any information that you guys are needing as far as um, like signing up for Bye Bye Baby for the registry or the formula companies or anything else that I've mentioned. Make sure you go check out the info box down below. Again, I really hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.